Hey, Claude Pollan here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. Uh, this is going to be part two of the Webmaster Tools series, and this one is about site errors. So what do I mean? Well, have you ever seen one of these, not found error 404? It's kind of a... So this page you're looking for no longer exists. Perhaps you can return back to the site's homepage. This is a link. It takes them to my homepage. You can see that. Or if you're looking for something, you can use the search bar. So it gives you an option. The error message gives you an option if you read it to go to my homepage or to search the site on the search box. But one way to avoid all of that altogether is to figure out how to fix it. Now, the reason I found out about this is because I went into my webmaster tools. I came down to the uh, left hand sidebar and I came down to crawl. I clicked crawl errors and it gave me the information that I've got 42 404s, which is what you've just seen. So uh, this 404 is this right here. So to fix it, well, let's get back here. Let's get, when you see your, uh, <clears throat> your 404s, you'll get a list. I've got 42 of them that I'm going to go fix. Uh, and the way you fix it is this. So you click on the link and it'll take you up here. If I click this link, it confirms that that is indeed a 404. So I want, and then I, I can see where it's linking from. So I've got internal links and other sites that are coming to this link. Now how or why, I'm not sure. I'd have to figure that out. But what I can do is redirect it. I can redirect this. So what I can do is I right click here and I copy. Now I have to go into my dashboard of my website, which is here. And I can go into, uh, if I go to my dashboard and I come down to my tools, I've got an option that says redirection right here. That is a plugin. It's called redirection. And what it does is it allows you to redirect 404s. So in this case, as you noticed, I copied the link. These are other links that I've redirected. It says here, add a redirection. So the source URL is the link that's going nowhere, is your 404. All right, now I've got to figure out where do I want to send them. Well, what I can do is come into my posts, and I typed in here keyword matching because the redirect is about keyword matching. And I found this post I made about match keyword matches and if I want to, what I'm going to do is take this URL, which is working, copy it, take it to the redirection, and you see down here the target URL? That's the URL that you want that 404 to redirect to. And then I'm going to add this redirection. All right, so now what I have done is taken that 404 URL and redirected it to this keyword matching URL. So if I come back in here now, right? And I click this link. It no longer goes to a 404. It goes to this article. And so that's how you fix a 404 in uh, WordPress using your Webmaster tools. So that's how the Webmaster tools can come in really handy. And then now what I do is I come back here and I mark this as fixed. I confirm it and it deletes it. And then on next, next one in line will be right here and I repeat the process. Okay, so what I do is I normally click on it. I'll click this link to confirm that it's a 404. And then I go back and, and repeat the process of going into my redirections, or going into my back office, finding the uh, URL that I want to redirect it to and loading it in. So that's how you fix the 404 uh, using the redirection plugin in a WordPress and using your webmaster tools. I hope this video has been helpful. Stay with it. Stay well. This is Claude Pallon at Affiliate Starting Line and talk to you soon.